sort of form of, of liberation. That's what you're having out here. Anyway, everybody pretty much knows my views on the feminist movement. We are reading feminist hate mail, because I get a lot of it, folks. Let me tell you, I get a lot of feminist hate mail. And uh, before I read this feminist hate mail, uh, I'd like uh, to apologize to all of you if I happen to say a, a few curse words, because uh, a lot of this is verbally colorful. And uh, we're just going to dive right into it and, uh, you know, talk about some uh, emails that I've gotten from some of these feminists. So here it is right here. Now, the first email is from Gina from Arizona. <clears throat> okay. Ghost, you are the biggest male pig I've ever heard in my life. Someone needs to throw you off the air before people actually start listening to you. That was Gina from Arizona. Well, you know what, Gina? People are listening to me, you stupid piece of trash. So you can continue getting a little upset at the fact that I'm on the air and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm exercising my freedom of speech rights while you can just sit over there and continue to shove bonbons down your gullet like a damn garbage disposal. How about that, Gina? Hopefully she got that. Anyway, we're going to move on to the next one here. The next one is from Roberta. Roberta from New York. Now, if that isn't more of a bull dyke name, I don't know what is. But here we go. I was shocked to listen to your broadcast to and to hear people that actually agree with you. You and your listeners are all sick, twisted, demented F-words. That was Roberta from New York. Well, let me tell you something, Roberta. Uh, obviously, you've listened to my program, and you probably kept listening. As a matter of fact, you're probably finger-banging yourself listening to me right now, so I don't even know why you're even flapping your fat fingers on the keyboard and writing me an email about this crap when you know and I know you're listening to me right now. So you're a piece of trash. You can continue flapping your fat fingers on the keyboard. You're nothing but a bulldog feminist. You have no substance. All right? I, I provided substance upon substance on the debating table. You have no substance, so go piss off. All right, let's move on to the next one, folks. This is Emma from Illinois. Uh, or Illinois, excuse me. Emma from Illinois. Uh, you, uh, ghost, uh, you sexist asshole. I hope someone... Sl or, or, hold on. Stupid broad can't even write correctly. Uh, I hope some woman slices off your head and menstruates down your throat. No, oh, that's nice. I am a woman. Hear me roar. That was Emma from Illinois. That was a really nice sentiment there, Emma. Do you talk to your children that way? Is that how you threaten your children? I'll slice your head off and menstruate down your throat? That's a very uh, vivid sight. That's very verbally colorful, and I'm sure your mother is very proud of you. Uh, you know, for saying that, uh, you, you're a pathetic human being, Emma, and for you to say such a disgusting thing, you should be ashamed of yourself, and as a matter of fact, uh, you know, you, you should probably be prohibited to have any more children. Uh, anyway, uh, here we go again. Oh, we got a guy now. Here's a guy, Greg from California. Uh, Greg from California writes, I think you are a pathetic soul that should be locked up for all the BS that you say. <laughs> People like you aren't around anymore. Deal with it. Oh, good God. Here we go again. You know, I should be locked up. I mean, how, how should I be thrown in jail? I mean, how, why should I be thrown in jail? Because I'm just sitting here trying to save the American family and promote true conservative values. Why should I be thrown in jail? See, this is more liberalism, folks. Hey, I don't, you don't, you know, you're not agreeing with the liberal principles. You should be thrown in jail. This is what liberals want. This is what liberals want. They want to jail you for not thinking like they do. This is what I'm talking about. Anytime you try to facilitate a debate with anybody on the left of the political uh, spectrum, and anytime you provide any type of substance and corner them, what do they do? They resort to these personal attacks. Uh, you know, they, they resort to logical fallacies. They, they'll lie. They'll do whatever it takes to suppress your perspective, even though you're the one that's correct. And that's the left for you. And as a matter of fact, you're starting to see remnants of it on the right. Anyway, moving on, shall we? We've got a couple of more of these, and I'm sorry, folks, for being so verbally explicit. Uh, there's some people in the chat room right now reacting to uh, Emma from Illinois' uh, little email stating that... Uh, she hopes someone slices off my head and menstruates down my throat, which is probably the most disgusting thing I've ever heard in my life, and I'm sorry I had to say that over the air. Um, anyway, moving on. 
Uh, this is from Margarita. Uh, she didn't leave where the hell she was from, and I don't blame her. But anyway, it says, you're lucky I don't know where you live, because I'd be glad to do all women a favor and silence you forever. <laughs> women are women are soon going to be in control, and you men will have to serve us like we've served you since the beginning of time. And that was Margarita. Well, I'm are you kidding me? First of all, your name is Margarita, you stupid dunce. All right? I mean, how are you going to sit over here and intimidate me with a name? You're named after an alcoholic beverage, you stupid whore. All right? And you're sitting over here trying to talk garbage at me that you hope a woman silences me forever? What, because I want to save the American family? Because I'm talking about the social ills of America? Uh, You want somebody to silence me forever? Are you kidding me? I mean, this is what I'm talking about, folks. Your name, I mean, this is broad's name is Margarita. Oh, jeez. Anyway, one more, folks, and then we're going to move on from this. We're going to move on from this. Uh, one more. Anyway, Margarita, uh, I didn't say anything to Margarita. Margarita, you know, piss off, all right, you stupid broad. All right, if you think you've got enough gall to find me, you come on down here and you find me, and I will make sure that uh, uh, you're dealt with properly, all right, you alcoholic beverage name piece of uh, cheese whiz goblin nipple clamp looking butt plug up the ass having garbage. And excuse my French, folks, but uh, this broad said she wanted to kill me, so... Anyway, uh, here we go again. Uh, this one is from somebody I don't know. It's an anonymous sender, and uh, you know I don't have a name for this piece of trash, but we're going to read this last email here. This is hate mail. Here we go. I've been listening to you for a while now. I was hoping no one would listen to you and you would go away, but you haven't. <laughs> of course I haven't, because I'm a conservative, you nimrod. Anyway, let me continue. I think everyone who listens to you, whether they like you or hate you, should be injected of cancer of the cock. Oh, man, and I don't think she means a rooster, folks. I mean, <laughs> or he, or whoever that, whoever that was. I mean, that was an anonymous email. But this is what I'm talking about, folks. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm getting. And this is from, uh, this is from uh, Feminist. These are from uh, left-wing, long-haired liberal hippies, and I'm sure most of them, uh, and a lot of them are from Republicans as well, because I'm not obliging myself to the Republican Party. This is what I'm getting, folks. This is what I'm telling you. I'm not joking with you people. I mean, this is why I don't go out, you know, like most of these jagoffs online, you know, they like to use their full name, like they're going to be some sort of, you know, freaking reporter or something, you know? I mean, like, like they're really going to be somebody. Hey, my name is, you know, Ed Morrissey. Look at me. I'm a fat, jelly-ass, bald guy, but I can blog. That's all, folks. I mean, give me a break. I mean, I get death threats on a daily basis, folks, and those are the only ones that I picked out that were my favorites. You know, typical ones are, oh, I'm going to kill you. You know, unoriginal, none with any type of personality whatsoever. The ones I just read you had a little personality to it and made me chuckle a little bit. But this is what I get on a daily basis, folks, because of my political persuasion. 